folks. How you doing? Kajem Um, So, the saga continues. I'm really not sure why this is such a big deal, but it is. Uh, seeking and finding, Karen's favorite bodega was out of the San Pellegrino. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Here's what delayed me. Um, I have a family reunion tomorrow, and I'll have a gig tomorrow. And I need to, I, I'm, I need, this is Friday evening is hairdoing evening here in Karen land. And so I had to get my hairdoing uh, setup started, and I basically have to start doing my hair. Hey there, Chicana. Hey there, Cat Farm. How you doing? Hey there, Dragon Fox. I'm here. Hey there, Anastasia. I'm going to be taking out the mini braids and doing an aloe vera treatment in the back. And there's a Jamaican black castor oil and moringa oil set up planned somewhere else um, over in the kitchen. And it's a whole thing. Um, so welcome to Karen Land and the 4C hair. And I just realized I don't have my fine tooth comb. Well, you know what? You know what? I'm just going to finger detangle. It'll be okay. Um, so yes, mayonnaise. I remember people doing that. And I was like, ew, but I understand. So now uh, there's been some peculiarities afoot in, uh, in, in, in turfdom. And I don't really understand why this is going on. The only explanation I can come up with for myself that is satisfactory is that with uh, Miss Exelanzic over there, I did not uh, uh, come out for her against someone that she is very angry at or professes to be very angry at. Um, who's calling me? There's a restricted number calling me. Hold, hold on for a minute. Oh, and the call just disappeared. So I don't know what that's all about. Um, how interesting that that would come in now. Fascinating. Okay. So anyway, uh, that's the only thing I can think of. I went back in my emails, of which there are many, and I found an email from May 21st from uh, Exelanzic to me about uh, Chicana doing, uh, doing a live stream and talking about Exelanzic. Let me see if I can find this, because that might be a good place to start, if for no other reason than because uh, it gives me some frame of reference as to what the hell is actually going on here. Somebody calling me again? Someone is calling me again. Hello? See that shit? I wonder if it's her trying to get me to turn my phone off. No, I'm sorry, that's not going to happen. What is this? It's very peculiar, very peculiar. Um, anyway, so I'm going to read this email from May 21st. And the thing that I don't get is, if she were justified in her actions, why would she need to uh, engage in these shenanigans? You know what I'm saying? It's very odd to me. Okay, let's let let's go, and let's see if the phone rings again while I'm reading the email. Now it doesn't mean it's her. Um, it could be anybody. Number is restricted, so I can't say with assurance that it is her. Occasionally, uh, my family members' numbers show up as restricted, and we do have the uh, family reunion tomorrow. So it could very well be one of them, but it just seems like a very odd coincidence 
And I also talked to them today about the doings that are transpiring tomorrow. So as far as I know, I'm up to date and they're also not shy about texting me. So I, I you know, like I'm saying, I have no idea who it is because the number is restricted. It just seems peculiar that I'm getting a call from a restricted number right now. All right, here we go. So this is an email that was sent to me uh, on May 21st at 3.20 p.m. So it was sent to me in the afternoon when I was doing anything else but checking my email. And it reads thusly. Okay, and this is from uh, Ed Zalancic, by the way. It says, she kind of... She kind of lost it on me in this live stream starting at 1 hour 25 through the end. She saw me in a Target and took a picture. There goes the phone again. Amazing. Bye. She, <laughs> she saw me in a Target and took a picture. And it was the most interesting thing to happen in her life this year. This is an email that was sent to me. Okay, I'll read it again. She kind of lost it on me in this live stream starting at one hour 25 through the end. She saw me in a Target and took a picture and it was the most interesting thing to happen to her, uh, happen in her life this year. I didn't respond to this email, okay? I didn't see this email until today. I did not respond. Now, uh, Another person responded, I'm not going to mention her name because I don't want to drag her into this lunacy, who said, uh, thanks, Karen, for introducing me to Chicana Feminista. So there was, a res there was another email that I got from someone else regarding Chicana Feminista, but I did not respond to Exelanzic's email about Chicana. So what does that tell you? I didn't know a damn thing about any of this nonsense. Okay. Now, uh, let's take a look at the email that she sent me on uh, the night that this all, this all jumped off. Actually, I'm taking out another braid before I do that. There are a lot of these, these uh, little little darlings in here. So as you can see, it's, it's what I said it was, that there is some issue. Here it comes again. There is some issue between Chicana and Exelanzic. It doesn't have anything to do with me, okay? Not a thing to do with me. It is between these two women. I am not even going to say anything about it because it doesn't have anything to do with me. Do we understand that? Are we clear? Whoops. This is between Exelanzic and Chicana. Okay. It does not have a thing to do with me, okay? So what is what is the comment here? Uh, Tumblebug is saying, I'm socially challenged and I don't know how to read or play drama like this, but you're not a liar, KD, I'm sure of that. And Chicana is saying they dragged me, uh, they dragged you into it now. No, 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 I'm not. Uh, this is the last time I'm going to talk about it unless um, there, and the only reason I'm talking about it now is because there are, what can I say? False claims being made. And I have no, uh, I, I have, I have no, I'm under no illusion or delusion that uh, Sierra will stop doing this. I don't see why she would stop doing this. This does seem to be the kind of thing that she would continue to do. Um, it's the kind of thing where when someone starts doing it, um, they're not going to stop until they get bored or until they find something else to do. So I will just have to put her in the same category 
with the person who I call the shitty husband who is an unhinged piece of excrement. Um, so there you go. And now I've got this tiny little braid back here. So I'm just going to take this out. And when my hands are free, we will go to the next, uh, the next bit of email that I received from her. And then we'll take a look at the tweets. So there we go. All right. Okie dokie. All right. Now. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. All right. So here's the email. Now, I published this in the committee. So you guys have seen this already. I'm just going to read this series of emails that came from this woman. And you are perfectly free to form your own or to come to your own conclusions. But, uh, you know, what can I say? This is, it's very odd to say the least. Here we go. Now. All right. So after she posted the Irish poll, right, the who is Irish poll, um, which she discussed uh, earlier today. And let me just add that a very good friend of mine joined Twitter just this week, and she and I have quite a bit in common, age, race, natural hair, and profession. So a friend of mine saw this, oh, and turfery as well. So this friend of mine saw this nonsense and let me know about it and sent me screenshots. And I was like, really? Really? See, I told you. Didn't I tell you? This is what I told you. Okay, so let's just take a look or let's take a listen to the email that uh, Miss Exelanzik sent me after uh, she deleted the tweets following the Irish poll. And if I can find those tweets in the Wayback Machine, Believe me, I will let you know about them. Okay, so July 17th, she says to me, oh, and here it comes again. Bye. Um, bye. Here we go. Why, why are people like this? Anyway, she says to me via email, are you okay? I'm not trying to fight with you, but Chicana is stalking me and hates gay men. What does that have to do with me? <laughs> Seriously, man. What does that have to do with me? Nothing. Okay. It goes on. Uh, Chicana is stalking me alone. What the fuck does that have to do with me? And she goes on. Usually if we talk privately, it's okay. What the fuck has that got to do with me? She needs to stop eating. I'm done drinking for the night. Again, the fuck, man? What's that got to do with me? And then she goes on. Why the hell is she drumming up mobs? I guess there's no real anti-fat mob or anti-Chicana mob. She's a white American English-speaking woman. What does that have to do with me? What? What? What's that got to do with me? This broad lives on the West Coast. I am on the East Coast. What the fuck has that got to do with me? And she had not emailed me, as far as I know, since May. It's July. This broad hasn't emailed me for two months. And somehow or another, I'm supposed to jump all in this bullshit here? Fuck that. Okay. Uh... And then she sends me another email saying, if we're no longer friends, tell me. I responded, I have no idea what you are talking about. And then she followed up with saying, okay, best of luck in your future endeavors. I've unsubscribed and will not welcome further contact. If any of you can explain how any of this makes sense, uh, I, I'm very curious. I'm very, very curious indeed. 
what the actual hell. Okay? Can anyone please explain to me what this has to do with me? What does it have to do with me? What? She's got a problem with Chicana Feminista, justified, unjustified, whatever. And then she comes running to me and I'm like, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. And now we got this pants pan going on over here. What does this have to do with me? What, what is your take? Let's take a look at the comment here. English is saying, I can't explain. Chicana is saying I'm half white too. I have white privilege, but brown is a lens. Uh, you occupy spaces in which you see. Yes, it, indeed. Um, Matthew Funk says she probably thinks the anti-gay portion will draw you in because you have a gay brother. Um, it, it, uh, my brother is, uh, is, it, 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 I, I don't even know what to say about that. Um, I don't know. Bad Cat is saying, going to have to sign this out. It's 1 a.m. here and I'm up. Okay. Thank you for, for coming in, Bad Cat. Please remember to hit the like on your way out. So can anybody explain what this has to do with me? Because I am still entirely at a loss for what this has to do with me. It, it, what, what has this got to do with me? Now, we're not, we're not middle schoolers. We're not high schoolers. I am 56 goddamn years old. I know that Ed Zalanzig is about 20 years younger than I am, which would put her in her mid-30s. What is this bullshit? What is this bullshit? What is this bullshit? Hey there, Kai. Kai, do you have any idea what this nonsense has to do with me? What, what is this? What is this? Okay. I am going to drink some soda. Here we go. Oops. And I got the aloe vera standing by, although it's probably going to take an hour for me to take these freaking braids out. Um, let me tell you something. I understand why black women do wigs. I really get it. This is a lot of work here. Sophie 215 says, uh, no idea. Perhaps she's seeking support. Uh, somebody just texted me. Uh, for you, for her position, whatever that happens to be. And Kai just said, no clue. It just sounds like they tried to rope you in drama and had, had nothing to do with you and you don't understand that you want no, and don't understand you want no part of it. They need to handle it among themselves. Um, and Tumblebug said, I'm Galician and Portuguese on my paternal side from Hawaii. Oh, my. Oh, that's so interesting. All righty. So now let's get to the tweets. Like I said, a friend of mine, about the same age as me, also black, also natural, also a music teacher, decided to join Twitter this week. It may come as a surprise, but a lot of people aren't on Twitter because I tell them the shit that goes on and they're like, oh, I don't want any part of that. That's just nuts. Or they're like, really? It can't be that bad because if it was that bad, nobody would stay on. So she joined and she let me know what was going on. All right. So here we go. Let's just take a look at these tweets here. All right. Um, and she sent me screenshots. Here we go. So this one was put up today. And for those of you who are doubting this, you can go over to her Twitter and you can see what is posted there. I also put them in the community. And it says, uh, Exalanzic posted, I'm aware of the Karen Davis videos calling me slurs repeatedly. 
Um, I am not aware of which slurs I used. I may have called her crazy. Um, so there's that. But is, is crazy a slur at this point? I'm really surprised that someone who, uh, someone who benefits from free speech with her unpopular opinions would pull that nonsense. But okay. And see, the other thing is, if she's aware of the videos and she has my email address, why not confront me directly? Hey there, Spirit Matter. Why not confront me directly? I, I you know, I, I'm, I, I have no idea. If this is of such importance to her, why, and, and, and. So I am currently on a one week suspension from Twitter, okay? And she blocked me and told me not to contact her. So why is she, uh, why, why is she over there doing any of this when she knows that I can't confront her directly? I can't respond to her directly. She is a coward. If anyone still has any admiration for this woman, she is a coward. This is the act of a coward. It is cowardly, profoundly so. Now, say something. Or don't. This is the act of a coward. So she goes on to say, my Irish poll was not a secret message to her that she shouldn't speak Irish. And how convenient is it that she deleted all the tweets following the Irish poll I was looking for them in the Wayback Machine. The Wayback Machine is only going back to June at this point, so I could not find them. Um, but isn't it convenient? Oh, there, there's that call again. Bye. Um, from, the, from the restricted number. Do you guys remember when this happened uh, last year when there was some, uh, some pro-trans troll calling me? She's trying to get me to turn off the phone. Either way, or try to get the live stream shut down. But either way, you know. Um, don't be surprised if this channel disappears. Don't be surprised if she and her minions decide to mass report me and get my channel yanked. I would not be surprised at that. The people who have put out the concerted effort to get this channel taken down invariably have been so-called feminists. You remember Jen Jen who pulled that crap? because I said something that she didn't like about Jen Speck. You remember that crap? You remember when Jen Speck decided uh, Angus, with, uh, with the help of Angus Fox to mass report the channel, send it out with, to the Slack group via emails to mass report the channel for defamation? You remember that? Uh-huh, yeah. The people who are supposed to be on my side, my allies, have proven again and again and again and again to be the worst people for me to associate with in, in this. They are worse than the trans rights activists. So if this channel should disappear, know, who's, who, know who the culprit is. This broad. And, and her little gang of minions. All right. So she said, my Irish poll was not a secret message to her that she should not speak Irish. Why would it be? That's known as a delusion of reference. And then she finishes up by saying, get well soon, Karen. So she's implying that I have lost my mind. Do you remember when she got banned and she was complaining that they were using anti-Semitic tropes to make fun of her? Uh-huh. Yeah, well... One of the things that's lobbed at black women all the time, particularly when we do not kowtow to white people, is that we are mentally ill. How about that? So this woman who complained about uh, being uh, painted with the, with, with, with the Semite brush has decided to trot out this little well-worn chestnut and to call the black woman who's criticizing her crazy. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. Good Lord. So there's that. Um, now, 
So I will just read the whole thing uninterrupted so you can get a full, uh, a full, the, the full nugget of cray here. It says, I'm aware of the Karen Davis videos calling me slurs repeatedly. My Irish bowl was not a secret message to her that she shouldn't speak Irish. Why would it be? That's known as a delusion of reference. Get well soon, Karen. That's something else, ain't it? Um, after somebody who sent me an email that said, uh, Chicana is stalking me and hates gay men and my best friend is a gay man and I feel alone. Then we got this. Mm-hmm. And someone who repeatedly abuses Chicana Feminista about being overweight. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. All right. So there's more. Here we go. Let's take a look at this. Now, she she speaks to her followers. Hold on for a second. Mm. I love her on Chiata. She speaks to her followers. Now, I imagine that she is in the chat somewhere and that she could indeed respond right now, but she's not going to because she's too cowardly. And she, uh, she, I don't see how anybody could possibly defend these actions. It makes no sense to me at all. Um, now, there is a contingent in the gender critical community and among the radical feminists that can't stand me, but I don't give a shit about those people. Um, they can all kiss my ass. I've said that numerous times and they can all go straight to hell. Anyway, she said to her followers, to those of you enabling her who are tempted to follow her suggestion to contact me, to tell me to stop sending her secret messages through innocuous Twitter polls, please be advised such contact is unwelcome, unnecessary, and unhelpful. Let me read that one more time. She said, to those of you enabling her who are tempted to follow her suggestion to contact me to stop sending her secret messages through innocuous Twitter polls, please be advised such contact is unwelcome, unnecessary, and unhelpful. So basically, she's supposed to be able to sit over there on her, her little Twitter page and spout off nonsense about me, and neither I nor you are supposed to object because it is unwelcome, unnecessary, and unhelpful. Amazing, isn't it? Amazing. So she can remain in her position as the exalted and all-knowing white woman, and my little Negro self just has to sit here and take it. How about that? How does that work? Who is this? Someone calling themselves schadenfreude is saying, so this is just a misunderstanding between you two. A misunderstanding between whom? I completely understand what's going on here. Are you talking about between Sierra and Chicana or between uh, Sierra and me? It doesn't have fuck all to do with me. But like I said, I understand exactly what's going on. This is, this is some narcissistic bullying shit because I wouldn't jump into her little uh, whatever it is she's got going on, whatever her problem is with Chicana Feminista. It is completely and utterly ridiculous. So Tumblebug is saying, I'm hooked on a ranchiata fico de India. Oh God, that is the best. See, they didn't have that today. Um, but you know, that that is the best. That is the absolute best. You squeeze a little lemon juice in there too. Oh my God, magnificent. So Peach is saying she wants to sit there and insult you if anyone objects. Uh, they say you're harassing them. That's right. Um, and Chicana is saying, I know you hate me, Sierra. Uh, like I'll, uh, I'm, like I'm sure I'll live. Is she uh, in the chat? Is is there somebody here who may be the, 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 the subject of this evening's discussion? Because if so, um, let me just tell you, in case you, you missed it, you're a coward. You're a coward and you're a miserable, abusive twat. And if you have a problem with that, if any of your followers have a problem with that, fine. They are followers of a miserable, abusive twat. Absolutely. So there's that. Now, one of the things that can happen with the 4C hair, particularly if your hair is of fine texture like mine is, um, you can lose braids in here. So the hair that I just unbraided 
I'm braiding it all into one big braid so that I can take the tiny little braids that are underneath it out. Here we go. All right. Kai is saying she should just come in and air her grievances open dialogue. Of course she should, but she's not going to do that. Look who's here, Kai. You are a black person. So am I. Chicana is Hispanic. X is the great and powerful and all-knowing white woman. Why would she lower herself to be, uh, 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 to, to, why would she condescend or deign to spend time in such company? Why would she? Okay, so there's that. So, uh, so this individual who calls herself Kelly Fuss Clam, C-K-L-A-M, said, uh, I only followed her channel, meaning me, for a little while, sometime, I got the feeling that there was something unhinged about Karen. You bitches. You judgmental twats. And then uh, X responded, I've known her going on two years now. And while she may at times get overly attached to an idea, may get overly attached to an idea, who was the one that actually got their channel yanked because they wouldn't stop talking about Case? Who was that? Who was that? Couldn't let that shit go. Who was that? <laughs> um, and while she may at times get overly attached to an idea, she's typically more grounded than this. Now, let me just say this, um, because this will come up later. Uh, Exalantic and I hung out one time when she was visiting New York. One time. She does not know me. We have exchanged emails on occasion. The last email that I got from her before this crap happened was in November, okay? She does not know me. She's never been inside my house, okay? You know, uh, we've never gone hiking or cycling or anything like that. We have never done anything uh, that would make me consider her to be a friend. She's never come over for dinner. She's never made me dinner. We don't do pet things. or it, You know what I'm saying? She's never met my family. Uh, we've never hung out in the morning over coffee and then drifted around all afternoon looking at stuff because we have chores to do, but we're having a good time hanging out and who the hell wants to do chores anyway? She is not a friend of mine. She does not know me okay she does not know me and yet here she says i've known her she knows of me okay so hanging out one time and exchanging e emails does not constitute knowing somebody okay that does not constitute knowing and yet she thinks that she, or she wants to claim that she knows me. Uh-huh, she doesn't. So, in this tweet, she also says, I am an Irish-ish Irish -ish linguist. Her belief, meaning me, is bizarre and irrational. It scares me that she's not able to judge that for herself before cursing me out. I think she she must have missed the part. Now, supposedly she's on the spectrum, which would mean that she has some like she probably has language processing issues. So it seems that she entirely missed the part where I said that what aggravated me was the email in which she's trying to drag me into this bullshit with Chicana Feminista. OK, that's what irritated me. Let me say it one more time. For all of the watchers out there who won't hit the like button who are probably her stands, listen to me. The thing that pissed me off was not the Irish poll. I thought that was just bizarre. What pissed me off is that she sent me that damned email. Let me read it one more damn time so that you freaking idiots can get it through your heads. Actually, that is probably uh, a waste of time, but I just want to refresh the memories, a refreshed memory of those who can actually pay attention over here. It says, 
I am not trying to fight with you, but Chicana is stalking me and hates gay men, and my best friend is a gay man, and I feel alone. Usually, if we talk privately, it's okay. She needs to stop eating. I'm done drinking for the night. Why the hell is she drumming up mobs? I guess there's no real fat, anti-fat mob uh, or anti-Chicana mob. She's a white English-speaking woman. That is the email that pissed me off because it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't have anything to do with me. And my response was, I have no idea what you're talking about. That's what started this shit up. She sent me this crazy ass email. I said, I don't know what you're talking about. And her response was, best of luck in your future endeavors. I've unsubscribed and will not welcome further contact. So for those of you who are saying, oh God, Karen's unhinged. Oh God, she's been so mean to Sierra. I don't understand. This is what she did. This is what she did. This is what she did. Okay. But let's look at this tweet over here. Her belief is bizarre and irrational. It scares me that she's not able to judge that herself before cursing me out. Six kinds of pretty is saying this is also confusing. Um, hold on. I don't remember Jakana ever anything against X, probably because it didn't happen. Oh, this is what's called, pardon me. This is what's called gaslighting and lying. It's a lie. The reason you are confused is because she is lying. Lying. Again, what is this your interesting observation that you're making where you are saying, uh, but a bit of a Strange, so many in the chat and so few chatting. How about that? I wonder what, what, so I don't know what's, uh, I don't know what the, you know, what, what the, what can I say? What the chat makeup is, but yeah. So let me just say this. Um, and Chris Ryan says, I love you both ain't taken side, just interested. Well, you know, Chris, you are entitled to your opinion. However, what you are seeing is that this woman, for some reason, has decided to hurt me. That's what's going on. And if you actually uh, care, if you can, you might ask her, why are you doing this? What is your point? So you got this beef with this other woman and you tried to drag Karen into it. And Karen's like, no, this doesn't have anything to do with me. I don't know what you're talking about. And so now we got this whole damn thing going on. And Six Kinds of Pretty is saying she must have been pretty special when she said all crazy stuff. Uh, well, what, what accounts for the tweets online that she put up today? She's on the East Coast. Or excuse me, she's on the West Coast. I'm on the East Coast. So it's only me out there. I saw this when I got home. What time did I get home today? What time did I get home today? Like 2.30? 3 o'clock? I don't remember the exact time. So she's drunk in the early afternoon. Why are you people trying to excuse this? I don't understand it. Why are you trying to excuse this? If this was a trans rights activist who was pulling the same shit, you would know exactly what you are looking at. But because it is someone you admire, you don't know what's going on. It is absolutely ridiculous. For God's sake, people. It's not just crap when people we don't like do it. Merciful God. All right. There's more. Uh, there's more tweets. Here we go. Here we go. Another tweet. She emails is also very concerning and easily verified to be false. I do not know what could be causing these unusual beliefs and behaviors. So there she goes calling me crazy again. Now, so she pushed, she put my email up on Twitter when she started a thread criticizing me. So what could the point of that be? What could the point of that be? Remember, I said that doxing is often more about intent than whether or not someone's information is already out there. 
I'm a musician. I've applied for a lot of jobs. You can find a lot of shit about me on the internet. Why did she expose my email address to her little legion of haters? What was the point? What was the point of that? So for those of you who are like, I don't really understand what's going on. What was the point of that? Answer the damn question. So, and she published a picture of me and her that she took when she came through New York. That was in, when the hell was that? I don't remember when the hell it was, but I'm wearing my winter coat. So it was when it was cold. That is the only time I have spent any time in this woman's presence. That's it. The only time I have spent any time in that woman's presence was when she came to New York. And then she posted uh, screenshots of emails that I sent. Let's look at the dates here. Because I said regularly, regularly. I don't even hear from my booking agent regularly. You know what regularly means in Karen world? Once a week, thereabouts. Let's hear dates. So there was April 24th, 2022. And then another one, April 24th, 2022. Isn't it 2023 in July? It's July 2023, right? So wasn't that shit a year and a goddamn half ago? Right? What shit? That is, that is not even close to regular. And then we have this. 12, 28, 21. So December of 2021. November of 2022. And again, November of 2022. So, uh, is that a regular email correspondence between friends? Actually, my friends don't email me. They text me or they call me on the phone. What is she talking about? What is she talking about? And you know what? I'm really glad that we only hung out one time. I don't want to be anywhere near this broad. This broad is out of I would love to hear from my booking agent more regularly, though, because, you know, there's money. Um, the gig I have tomorrow was not set up by my booking agent, however. Um, so, you know. But that is not to criticize my booking agent. My booking agent has hooked me up with five shows next month. Five. One, two, three, four, five. 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 I got five shows next month. Five. Okay, so I'm very happy with my booking agent. Um, and the reason I'd like to hear from my booking agent more regularly is because my booking agent gets me shows that pay. And like I said, you know, getting paid to do the rock and or roll is one of the greatest joys of life. Okay, so uh, let's see. Now, so she published this shit that's supposed to prove that she and I hang out regularly and it proves just the opposite. Um, I don't know what she's thinking. Um, it's just insane. Uh, and Six Kinds of Pretty says, what does Ella do? Okay. Why are you guys, okay, okay. Why are you guys continuing this nonsense? Seriously. It doesn't have anything to do with me. But if if you guys, uh, what, what, what are you guys doing? Jesus. All right. So here we go. Here's another one. Okay. That's going to take care of it. Hold on. Let me just look and see if I can find another thing because I thought that there was more. And so she has been, and I know this through my friend in the neighborhood here, who I actually see like once a week. We drink wine together. She also likes Riesling. Oh my God. How impossible. Anyway, um, Ahem. Let's just see. I think I think I got everything. I got everything. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, I got everything. So nonsense is what this nonsense consists of. Who likes Pearl Jam? Pearl Jam is uh, through phases. Honestly, there are Pearl Jam songs that I love, like Given to Fly, Elderly Woman Behind the Counter in a Small Town. I will not play that song. I cannot play it without crying. It is one of the most beautiful songs that I have ever heard. Oh, really? She likes Pearl Jam? Well, I heard Eddie Vedder is uh, Eddie Vedder is a troon simp. So, you know, that's unfortunate. Nobody's perfect. But uh, what can I say? Matt Cameron's mine. So, you know. <laughs> and actually, I just have to say, um, I just have to say that um, Pearl Jam's uh, uh, rhythm section before Matt joined it was kind of met meds And then once he came in there, because he's the man, you know what I'm saying? He is the man. Um, that that's when that's when the band really started, as far as I'm concerned. Even though I think Jeremy is a piece of transcendence, um, Matt Cameron joining Pearl Jam really like turned that band into a band. Okay, so now, um, what is this? This is a plate of cut up aloe vera. Where is this going? This is going in my hair. Uh, so here we go. All right, we're almost done. I just want to say uh, a couple more things. First of all, um, if you if you want to keep watching her, go right ahead. Um, I have I have no problem with that. Have you guys ever done raw aloe vera? Okay, check this out. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Check this out. Check that out. Check that out. Look at that. So woo, it is. Uh, and now, see, I I posted on my Twitter before I got banned that uh, raw aloe vera uh, that only women have. Um, this does not smell like that. This is not very, uh, this does not have a very strong smell. In my hair, I'm gonna twist it up, let it dry. And usually I take it out and it after it dries, but I might not, I might not do that tonight because I'm gonna take my hair out tomorrow because I'm wearing the puff to the family reunion. So I might just um, just let it dry. It actually dries relatively quickly and I have the air conditioner on so it's fairly dry in here. Um, yeah, six kinds of pretty. Aloe is very good for her. It's, let me tell you something. Okay, let me just tell you real quick. So um, my, my hair has, a, in the back anyway, has like doubled in length because Oh shit! Look, what the hell is going on here? My hair is like twice as long as it was in the back. Um, you know, it's it's about doubled in length uh, in about two months. And so, you know, I mean, it was really short to begin with, but now it's uh, you now, as the West Indians would say, she got Harold down she back. Uh, so, <laughs> so it's not all down the back yet, but. We're going to get there because I'm going to keep doing this. I really like the aloe vera. Um, so anyway, that's what's going on here. So listen, like I said, you want to keep watching her stuff, that's fine. But if this channel is high, okay, you will know who decided to mass report me, who decided to punish me for not joining her lean girl click. So, you know, just keep that in mind. And I think it's very unfortunate. Because, you know, people are talking about how we need unity and we've all got to support each other and whatnot. I don't know. See, do they tell other people that? Or do they just tell me? Because I don't see anybody else being told that nonsense. And out of identity politics, the identity politics is applied to race. Um, I do recognize that there can be a certain racial dynamic at play in these interactions and certain assumptions made, look at that, that's aloe vera, certain assumptions made about uh, appropriate behavior for certain individuals who uh, have, uh, shall we say, certain features and, of our, and are of a certain descent. So there's that. Um, so I think that's going to take care of it. I see a bunch of people have cut out. I wonder why. We're up to 72. Now we're down to 27. That's pretty amazing. Um, so 
And you know what? I see that, uh, is that Peach? Peach is saying, uh, Exalantic et al. Don't cancel Karen's channel. We really enjoy her stuff. Just let her be. Uh, well, thank you for that, Peach. I, I do appreciate that. Um, I don't know if it's going to be of any avail. I'm just letting you know. Now, of course, it would be very difficult for me to prove that uh, X, well, that X's hand was in this. But I don't put it past her because she said that I was using slurs. Um, and, you know, in woke speak, if you use a slur, that's a terrible thing. Um, so which slur she's talking about? I don't know. But whatever. So, all right. I am going to... Uh, what is it? She played it in her video about Chris Chan. Oh, that Chris Chan is a man. That's a good one. Um, so listen, when I see you guys on Sunday, oh Jesus, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a Sunday live stream because we have another family reunion. It's the whole, it's the whole weekend. And also there's turf pride. So you may be seeing me, but you may not see me in a live stream. If we don't get to do a live stream on Sunday, we'll do one on Monday and I will play some turf jams for you lovely folks. That is assuming the channel does not get yanked because X and her minions have mass report to me. So the Substack allow for polls that can be accessed at any time. I think it does. Um, Matthew, are you talking about uh, which, which turf jam is the most awesome turf jam? Is that what you're talking about? Okay. Um, I think that that would be pretty cool. I will put that up. Thank you for reminding me. All righty. I have no video up tonight. There will definitely be one up tomorrow. And I will see you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you for listening. And thank you for your support. And I will see you in the next one. Stay strong, ladies. August Lansman.